All right, guys. So in today's video, we're going to be going over Small Wayne King's banner and the units that could potentially be on it. Keep in mind, this is subject to change. Global is very different from JP. So some of these units might not be on there. All of them might be on there. We never know. Shout outs to Amazing, though, for giving me this um, this image right here. Awesome, awesome uh, dude, man. Go ahead and go check out his channel. I love the guy. Love Amazing. He's a really, really good friend. So yeah, be sure to check him out. Um, but yeah, so Small Wing King's banner. What you're looking at is JP's version of this banner. Global, again, is subject to change. So do not like make this like the concrete thing. This isn't the concrete thing. It is going to probably change. But if it doesn't, it's still a very good banner, in my opinion, because you have these coin shop units right here, right? So all of the sins that are in the coin shop are going to be on this banner, which is actually very, very good because I know some people don't have these characters because they don't want to use their platinum coins to get them from the coin shop. So having them on this banner actually makes it very, very good. Would I say summon on it? Um, It's, it's honestly up to you. If you don't have these units, probably would be best to summon if you're free to play maybe you do want to skip this banner because some of these units are kind of out you know outdated red meliotis is still good just doesn't really have a relevant place right now in the game same could go for blue diane although she is a little bit slightly more useful next to like probably like droll she has a rupture card which is very good against goddess elizabeth green green bond isn't isn't that great anymore <laughs> um blue king obviously still top tier to this day very very good unit same thing goes for red uh gouther green merlin is really only ran on the sub so if you're planning to have an alt rush team there you go she's on this banner and then red Escanor is still pretty good although he's really just used on one team he can still be pretty good in pv content and then the other characters right so we have these four right here which are also rated up the same percentage as the coin shop units zaratras belian meliotis king so Blue Demon Meliodas, Red Fairy King, we have Belion, and then we also have Zaratras. They are all the same percentage as these coin shop units, so do keep that in mind. Um, they aren't bad. Blue Demon Meliodas is still good. Red King, I, I think he's falling off a little bit because no one really runs Pierce. You you'll see it maybe a couple times here and there, but no one really runs Pierce anymore. So he has fallen off quite a bit. I think Belion and Zaratras really are just used for PvE. Zaratras more than Belion, but uh, I, they, aren't, they aren't the worst units to be on this banner, actually. So it's really, really good. The main thing to take away from this, though, is that Small Wayne King is rated up, right? Along with Demon Hendrickson, but for a festival unit to be rated up, that's actually very good. He's the first festival unit to be rated up, so that's very, very good. 0.5%, that's almost 1%, so that's actually amazing. Like, if he were 1%, this banner probably would be a must summon because of the fact that you have a greater chance, like, at pooling him more than you'll have a, you know, um, of a chance of pooling some of these units. So, very, very good. If he were 1%, it'd be a must summon banner, but 0.5% is still very, very good. Don't get me wrong. That's still very, very good because you have a better chance at pooling these two units more so than Elizabeth or Meliodas. Now you now you can pull probably you know some of these units more than you will pull King and Hendrickson. It's just bound to happen. Someone out there is probably gonna six six. I don't know if you don't have Red Gouther six out of six, right? Someone will pull Red Gouther six or seven times and probably only pull Small Wing King one time. It could happen, right? RNG literally a gotcha right it's a gambling game gotchas are gambling games so keep that in mind right this isn't meant to be yo you must summon it is literally just giving you guys the information that you want to you want and need right so you go you have meliotis and elizabeth two uh festival units as well 0.17 percent so you have a better chance at pulling them than you do these um these characters down here right so these what is it seven characters down here starting from gilia you have a better chance at pulling Lost Vein Meliodas, Goddess Elizabeth, and Small Wayne King, right? Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Uh-oh. Messed that up a little bit. But yeah, you have a better chance at pulling all three festival units than you do the basic SSR characters, which is astounding. That's actually really, really good. Now, you could say this is a 
good or bad thing, <laughs> you also have a chance at pulling all of these characters, right, with the 0.17%, the same percentage as Lost Vader and Goddess Elizabeth. But in my personal opinion, I think that's much, much better than having these units, the same percentage as these ones right here. Because in past festival banners, you had the same percentage as pulling Lost Vader and Elizabeth, literally the same percentage as pulling these two with the rest of them. It was like 0.2%. So it was literally the same percentage all the way around, right? But this time, they're rated up 0.17%. I think that's really good. If you're free to play and think about someone on this banner, honestly, not the worst thing to do because you could really get a lot of value out of this banner. I'm not even going to lie to you. Without looking at this, um, you know, without looking at the, the rates, I was saying maybe you want to skip... You want to save for like the one or you just want to save for a unit you really really want but i mean this is good <laughs> i can't really deny the fact that this is actually really good 0.5 percent for a festival unit and the unit that's next to him is actually really really good and then 0.17 percent granted it is lower than how um, their original banner it doesn't matter in my opinion because they are still rated up more so than these uh, seven other characters down here. So keep in mind, you are having three, three festival units rated up. So very, very good in my personal opinion. The only bad side about this is that you kind of need Demon Hendrickson and Small Wayne King together. I do believe Demon Hendrickson is free. Someone did uh, say in my comment section that he was given for free. So if that's the case on Global as well, very very good because then small wing king all you need to do is summon for him and you have the team that can be ran with him right so very very good if you guys don't know what he does here's his passive basically if they have two or more of these debuffs they can't cleanse them so they there's no way of removing them besides i think zeldris can remove them and if you have debuff immunity so very very good but with that said there's also a couple characters that can actually like cock him very bad. And the character that I'm really thinking of is Escanor, right? Escanor can cock him very bad. And then also Estorosa. Estorosa is a huge counter to him, actually. Like, it's actually really, really insane. Keep in mind, Estorosa has debuff immunity when he uses a stance. And he gives this to anyone else who uses stances. So if you run a stance team, you literally just cuck Fairy King. Like Small Wing King, you literally just cucked him. So keep that in mind. Estorosa actually might be seeing more of a relevant play and more relevancy in the, um, you know, in PvP because of the fact that he has this hit this passive. If he didn't have this passive, he probably wouldn't even be like be used. But because he does, and then his full counter, which you, obviously you guys already know what it does, it attacks back. Really, really, really good. Um, and then he also has his commandment, which also would affect. Uh, small wing king and hendrickson which is crazy it's just craziness like he's actually really really good against um small wing king same thing with escanor escanor is insane because of the fact that escanor gets debuff immunity once his ultimate gauge is full he has a heavy hitting attack right here 500 percent is nothing to like laugh at that's gonna be insane filling up his alt gauge then he also removes buffs He's good, man. Escanor is gonna Escanor and Estoros are gonna be one god tier combo. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. They're gonna be one god tier combo. It is just it's just craziness, right? So do keep in mind, Small Wing King can be countered by those two. Probably more units, but those two are the ones that really come to mind because one, they're both green, and then two, um, they can be run in conjunction with each other. So very very good. So yeah, man. Just if you guys are thinking about summoning on this banner. Um, I would honestly say if you're free to play, you should probably skip. Um, it's just, it, it's hard to say because now that, now, now that they're, you know, rated up, it's really hard to say, right? Because if you're free to play, obviously you want to use your gems on something that's of value. But I think this banner really could, really could be one of the better banners in the game. So you have, you like... Because you have three festival units, right? Three festival units, which is really, really good. One being at 0.5 and the other being at 1.7%, which is better than these seven units down here, right? Keep in mind, again, this could change on global's, on global's end, but 
man, if it's the, the exact same, I would say, like, I would say skip. Uh, <laughs> I would say skip. <laughs> because like i don't know it, it's just it's honestly just up to you but these coin shop sins honestly most of them don't see much play except king gouther and merlin sometimes Escanor, but these three right here don't really see much play and then you have these four who are also rated up blue demon meliodas is good red fairy king fell off Belion, um oh, man it's really hard to say but if you, I, I would say skip, but if you summon, it's not the worst thing. Me, myself, I'm just using the tickets that I get from buying uh, the diamonds because I really need to get more diamonds to be able to get 1,500 gems for Sario. I will be summoning on this. If I get Small Wing King off of the tickets, cool. You know what I mean? He's a really cool character. I, myself, I'm not too thirsty for him. You know what I mean? I'm not really, like, the biggest fan of Small Wing King, but, I mean, sure, right? He's a really cool unit. Goddess Elizabeth, uh, you know, Goddess Elizabeth and Lost Dream Meliodas, they're on there. So if you summon, you could get three festival units, potentially. You also could get all of these coin shop units, but then you uh, could also get these units too, man. It's really hard to say, but use your better judgment. I just, I just recommend skipping, but again, this is your game. You decide to play it. Um, whatever you decide to do is on you, so... Yeah, man, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and end the video. Again, huge shout out to Amazing for giving me this image right here. Really, really cool, dude. Go ahead and subscribe to him if you haven't already. But yeah, man, if you did enjoy the video, consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribe for more Grand Cross content. Also, be sure to join our Discord. We would love to have you. But with that said, I will see you all in the next video.